Now you're probably watching this channel, you're probably watching this video because you're wondering, what is it like to live in Ankeny, Iowa, right? What does it look like to live in Des Moines, Iowa? And so on this video, what I'm gonna go through is what is Ankeny all about, right? Because you're probably trying to decide, are you trying to move to Ankeny, you're trying to move to Waukee, you're trying to move to Des Moines, what does that look like? I'm going to go over the pros and the cons of three or four different neighborhoods that you and your family could move to, that you and your spouse can move to, that you go, you come to in a single, as a single person. My name is Darson Grantham, and I'm a realtor with Keller Williams. My name's Alex Hager, I'm also a realtor with Keller Williams. And we do these videos just in general, because we wanna make sure that you're picking a place to live in Des Moines, in Ankeny, in wherever you decide that fits your lifestyle. We don't want you coming and saying, you know, I live here for a year, I hate my house, I hate my community. Right. I can't, I, it takes too long to drive places. Like that's not what we want. So we create these videos and we post them on YouTube, on this channel, and it's all about the Des Moines Metro. And we're gonna go through all of the suburbs, all of the communities, and the good and the bad, the ugly, the pros, the cons, what, like what you need to know when you're thinking about moving to Des Moines. So if you're, if you're looking to move in Ankeny, there's different, quadrants of Ankeny, just because Ankeny actually started as an ag town and ag center. So kind of a farm, farmville, if you will. And so the town has a couple main streets, but there's still quite a few streets that are not, that like it takes a long time to get across town. So if you live in the Southwest corner and you're driving up to say Ames, Iowa to Iowa State University every day, that's a 40 minute drive. If you live on the Northwest corner, that's a 15 to 25 minute yes. drive. So I personally went to Iowa State um, I grew up and lived on the northeast side of Ankeny, and to get to campus, it took me roughly about 20 minutes or so. And if I made that same drive, let's say I got coffee that morning, and I came down to where we're at right now in Prairie Trail, that same drive, just like you said, would have been, I mean, doubled, if not even a little bit more. So where you're at in interstate access is a pretty big deal. If you're going downtown, if you're going to Ames, uh, it definitely adds up, right? Yeah, because. In Ankeny, I mean, there are a handful of large employers. I mean, you can work in Ankeny, especially in the service industry. The service industry, there's a lot to do to work at in Ankeny. But when you're look, working at corporate America, um, corporate Des Moines, like you're driving downtown, you're driving to Ames, you could be driving down to, out to West Des Moines, and that will range anywhere from 20 to 45 minutes. So, and, and also like, how tucked into the neighborhoods in Ankeny you are. Some of the things that Ankeny has to offer for people that want to live here are multiple communities that are very affluent, right? For sure. So in Ankeny, uh, something that is, hits home for me is you cannot have any chickens in your yard. You cannot have large front yard gardens. I know you laugh at that. That's something that is important to my family, right? I get it for sure. And so if you want that, Ankeny is not the place for you. Right. But if you want very well manicured lawns, you want, um, you know, your higher end spas, your higher end craft brew places, like Ankeny is a fantastic place for that. So one of the things that I hear from people moving both into Ankeny, as well as people that are moving out of Ankeny, say they're moving out of state, is that they really enjoy or will miss the, the community aspect and a lot of the community center, which we're in right now called Prairie Trail, that has become a pretty big hub for eating, uh, the schools around, the pool, you name it, uh, has been a big draw for people to move into Ankeny. And I always hear when people leave that they say that they will miss the, the community feel of some the of the Ankeny neighborhoods. Has, right? Got it. And so in Ankeny, you're going to have a lot of the cul-de-sac neighborhoods where everyone shuts down the street and you just, you know, yes. go out and have a block party. And, and the neighbors are real close and it's not, it's typically not very, you know, blinds drawn, nobody talks to each other. You know, they're usually out and about, you know, kids out in the street playing. It's a pretty That's, social place. Yep. On the flip side, one thing that is definitely not talked about enough is that the service for your phone can be horrible. What? I didn't know that. And and cell phone uh, service is a, a little more. So something to, something to be aware of. So the, the population in Ankeny is, I don't know, what is it, 60 plus thousand yeah. people right now? About 61, yeah. Yep, growing growing very, very fast. Two high schools now, high school split a couple years ago. And so, you know, if you come here and you don't know to ask for it, like there's there was quite a controversy over the high school splitting 
who gets was. to go who, where do you play in sports? And so honestly, if your kids play in sports at a high level, like you need to consider what, what area of Ankeny you move in. Because from my understanding, you're not open and rolling. You're getting where, you, where you're at. And when the, the, the high school split in two, about 10 years ago, nine years ago or so, one of the biggest things that came up in the football community, if you have kids yourself that are currently a football player or thinking about playing football, um, people were moving almost overnight to get into what they thought, right? What they thought was gonna be the kind of dominant force in Ankeny. I don't know if that really worked out for a lot of those people in their favor, but a lot of people did move right. just based off of football. Right. So in Ankeny, one of the areas that's very popular is the Southwest Prairie Trail. And the housing in Southwest Prairie Trail is mainly new, right? Like, yes, it's been built in the last 10 years. You got it. And the intent is to kind of build a super community, a, I don't know what the best, what you, what you might call that yeah, master know, plan. I think that if you could look, or I'm, I'm completely making this up, if you could go back and look at their plans, I always wonder what the, the original focus was. And my guess is where we've been filming at today in Southwest Prairie Trail, they call it the district, which is where there's restaurants and shops and all different things like that. That was sort of the original, for my knowledge, plan that sort of blossomed out from there. And they built an elementary school a couple blocks away and sort of uh, moved the housing around and kind of encompassing that elementary school. Right, so still some new builds available, I think. Yes. Right? Um, still some new builds available, but really you're looking at primarily resale and your resale prices are gonna be anywhere from 300,000 upwards of a million probably. Yes. Um, now a million's gonna get you, like there isn't, there isn't that many of those properties, but you can you know, live in this area and really have a, you know, a large house, six bedroom plus house. Um, 3,000 plus square foot pool in the backyard. Like that's that's very possible. You can also have your single family house that is, I don't know, 14, 1,500 square foot, three bed, two bath, very yep. small yard in a kind of cul-de-sac community and walking distance to the district that Prairie, Southwest Prairie Trail has. So a lot of options here. And one of the things to mention that I have heard from buyers that have been looking in that Southwest Prairie Trail uh, development that's sort of behind us right now is a lot of times new construction developments really all around the Des Moines Metro um, they fall in something with covenants and bylaws basically there's rules and people think well hey I'm gonna go build a home I can do whatever I want on the land and the reality is that it falls still under uh, a section of rules that are enforced by something called covenants and bylaws and what I will tell you is this area of Prairie Trail has a little bit more uh, harsh regulations on some of these rules than other new construction. So if that's something that could affect whether you have a, a motor home, a camper, it's something to consider. So you're saying if you have a motor home or a camper that you wanna park in the street or in your driveway, this is not the area for you? That's correct. Okay. There are, there's many others that would be a better fit for you. And so Southwest Prairie Trail, this neighborhood, um, if you're moving to Des Moines, moving to the metro and you're looking for a basically a community that is close to a lot of dining a lot of bars a lot of biking and you know you're not maybe looking for the largest yard to have in the backyard right like you're not you're yeah. not getting really large yards out of your southwest prairie trail houses and, and to, to just call it like it is right again not trying to, to sell you for or against Ankeny to just you know tell it like it is i would say of any buyer that's moving to the metro if a if having a yard is on their list at all it is not the area it was it, opinion mixed with what we've heard feedback from buyers um, over the years the proximity of a house built to another home that distance between the two is probably the smallest in the entire des moines metro yep. so it could so, be a big issue yeah so to to s s synthesize that if you look and you don't want to see your neighbor ankeny <laughs> probably isn't the place for you Right? I, absolutely. But if you want to be close to your neighbors, you want to have a you know cul-de-sac family, uh, cul-de-sac community, Southwest Prairie Trail has quite a few of those. Price ranges here are going to be, your low, low end is probably going to be 300000 And when I say low end, 
And we're just talking single families, not condos here. Your single family, 300,000, that's gonna get you maybe three bed, two bath, yep. probably 1,400 up to 1,800 square foot, very small yard. But the thing is like, you're walking to something more like this within five minutes. Right. Bike trails real fast, real quick. Um, just a lot of things to do. And this whole development of Prairie Trail is also situated right by uh, DMAC, which is Des Moines Area Community College. And there are people that will say, okay, hold on, wait a second. Am I gonna be living right by a college campus, right? Which is a, a, a reasonable thought to have. And it's just far enough away that there's still separation, but people can go to DMAC for school and then they can also still live around here and, and be in the area. They're, they're definitely one thing. We are leaving the Southwest Prairie Trail area, heading to Uptown, Old Town. And Uptown Old Town is a, is a place that had, like, again, Ankeny used to be a farming community, which sounds crazy because now it's definitely not. But, like, you have a John Deere plant here, you have uh, some large agricultural companies, and that's where we're gonna, we're gonna go to the kind of core and the epicenter of where Ankeny started. So that's called Uptown or Old Town, and we'll dig into that here soon. One thing that goes along with a lot of buyers nowadays that some people want to move into new construction, other people don't. One of the things about this area, there's a lot of times people think, well look, I've wanted to move to Ankeny and I'm gonna get the house that I want that was built in 1970. They've done a lot of updates to it and it's gonna be 100,000 less than the new construction that are kind of the, the competitor homes for sale, right? But the reality, and just something to keep in mind if you are thinking of moving to Ankeny and looking for an older home, a lot of the houses in this area, they go from one, you know, 125 and up, but that up is all the way to 250s, 275s. There's been some houses around here that have even sold for 300,000. And sometimes it's a little more than people are willing to spend on the area on an older home. Right, so that kind of digs into your older home versus newer home. Correct. Conundrum, right? So your newer home, you know, you, you can get a used, ten, uh, used a 10 year old home in Southwest Prairie Trail, right. that we just did a video on, for 300, 320,000, right. pretty easily. If you're spending 320,000 in old Ankeny, you better have a new roof, you That's better have new thing. furnace, new AC, new everything except the bones, right? And yep. then you have to make sure the bones are good. Just because when you're buying a new house, you know, you don't have to fix those major things for quite a while. Right. Where these, this community has been around long enough that the houses, you know, they've been lived in, they've been worn on. And this is what a lot of people would, would deem kind of that it's a spotty area in terms of the, the condition of a home. You could have a block of 10 houses, 50% of them are really well kept, really well maintained, a lot of updates, and 50% could definitely use some work, right? And that's for you to decide um, sort of what that, that means to you, right? But if you do wanna live in Ankeny and you don't want a new construction home, sort of like if you watched uh, one of the recent videos you made about Waukee, another area of the Des Moines Metro, there is something for you besides new construction here. One of the things is there just isn't very many houses that come up for sale. Very rare. Right? Because they're just, there's a limited number of houses in this area. So that's gonna limit your choices if that's what you're looking to move into. If you're looking to move into something under 300,000, like this is a great place. Absolutely. Um, a great place for you to look at in Ankeny. One of the things about this area too that would surprise a lot of people that are not from here is if you went back, make something up, right? Three years ago, four years ago, a lot of the homes in this area would have been right around 125, 150, even $100,000. Should have bought them all. Yeah, right, he, he's right about that. And now go back, say five years later, and they're either upwards of 200. Um, I recently sold a home in this area that was right around 230,000. Why did they? Why did they move out of this area? So they moved to go to Denver, <laughs> because of a job transfer. Ah. And that is a big thing that I have seen recently is people that are coming in to Ankeny because of jobs and also leaving because of jobs, right? I'm sure it's way beyond just Ankeny. Yep, and Ankeny, you're uptown Ankeny. It's again, really close to Southwest Prairie Trail. So your drive dime to West Des Moines, to Ames, to downtown is pretty similar. You're looking at 40 minutes, 
probably 35, 40 minutes uh, to Ankeny, or to, excuse me, to Ames. Yep. 35 to 40 minutes out to West Des Moines. And then downtown, what, 25 minutes? Yeah. Depending on what traffic looks like. Um, but you're kind of in the smack dab middle of Ankeny. One of the things about this area too, that a lot of people sort of don't realize being in it, we're not birds, right? We're not looking down at the area until you start driving around and notice that there's an elementary school every seven, eight, 10 blocks. So this is one of those areas that if you were here, you could walk to school, no problem, no matter what time of year it was. And even if you lived a few blocks east, a few blocks west, you're still gonna have another school that your kids could go to just right down the street. Right. In Ankeny in general, there are covenants associations throughout the city. This is an area that has no covenants, no association. Got it. So that's one of the reasons, you know, that is a drawback of this area is, you no, know, there's not an association that upkeeps the yards or upkeeps the properties like there would be in a typical association, right. which comes with its cost, right? So an association is gonna cost anywhere 150 up to, you know, 300 bucks a year or a month, depending on what, what all they're doing sure. for you. But there are people that, and, and I know that I've worked with my fair share of people like this over the last, you know, six, seven years where the yard is the number one thing that they are, are after. It could be for their kids, it could be for a dog, it could yep. be for themselves. And they will take something that needs a little more work, but you're gonna get the yard in this area where over on a place like Prairie Trail where we were just at um, a little bit ago, you're not gonna have that at all, right? So it is a give and take and this is an area that's gonna give you the, the give that some of the others are not. If you wanna know what the population is of Ankeny, you can Google it. If you wanna know, you know, what are the school districts, you can Google it, but what you can't figure out, what you can't Google are the little things, like how busy a place is after 9 p.m., like Alex said, right? How, how boring a place is after 9 right. p.m. What do you want? Do you wanna live here with your family or do you wanna retire and live in Ankeny while you're you know, grandkids are in Des Moines, so you're, you know, a good 20 minutes away, but you're still not too far and you can right. live in a condo in a very nice association, like that just, you know, it fits all the amenities that you want. So like, again, we're not trying to sell you on Ankeny. Could give a crap less if you move to Ankeny or you move somewhere else. We just want you to know what it feels like and the good and the bad and the ugly about Ankeny. And he could back me up all, uh, all night on the idea that there are a lot of people that, uh, we've personally showed homes to that thought that they wanted to live in Ankeny and they, they didn't find what they wanted here. As we've said before, um, if you're seeing something and it's not exactly what you want and you want to see something else or a little bit more of something, let us know and we'll, we'll go out and shoot something just for you. As an example, something you can't quite maybe tell in a video or especially on Google, something like that, right? right? And at the end of the day, the more information that you have, it can educate you on making a, a better decision. Yep, so if that interests you, if you're looking to you know, find a place to live in Ankeny or any of the Des Moines surrounding areas, give us a text, give us a call, uh, shoot us an email and we'll, we're happy to help. Absolutely. That's what we do every day. People moving to Des Moines, it's growing like crazy, whether it's Ankeny, Waukee, Norwalk, doesn't matter. People are moving here and it's important for them to figure out, for you to figure out what community fits you best. So, love to help you out. Thank you guys.